Okay, no problem. Right, we've got about 40 people present. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the garden of the Glenlyn Hotel, next door JDA. Thank you for letting us use it. Um, we are waiting for the Deputy Mayor and the Guest of Honour to arrive. They'll be here shortly. Please bear with us. Yes, yeah, so if you come on.
for lifetime achievement for services for deaf people. Well, to open this morning, I am delighted to call upon Mr. Deputy Mayor. <laughs> uh, it's nice to be here. It's my great pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for your and invitation and uh, on behalf of the, the worshipful mayor of London Borough Barnet, Councillor Caroline Stock, and the all residents of the London Borough Barnet, I would like to present this uh, certificate, civic award to recipient. Uh, it says uh, London Borough Barnet civic award this certificate was awarded by the London Borough Barnet to Sue Sipin in recognition of a lifetime achievement. So now may I? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one here, is that okay? Would you, would you mind stepping down? Okay. No, just that was a minute. Thank okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
If you can hear me, I was trying to catch your attention. Thank you very much. Are you available to stand? And okay, yeah, I was you. trying to catch your attention. Can you hear me? Congratulations, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Small square. Always chuffed to oh, introduce my sister. Right. Our Not Kayla, working. And always Not smiling good. chairperson, Trudy Clear. <laughs> what a great occasion. <laughs> and a medal as well. I've known Sue for a very long time. And I know how much she deserves this award. And we're delighted and so proud of her. Of course, it's impossible to sum up Sue's 20 plus years with us in such a short time. But two points out stand out. One is the transformation of the JD into an original person to address the challenges of today. Sue has steered us throughout, but never has she lost sight of the origins and commitment to our aging members. The other is that the transformation was and is expensive. No one understands that better than Sue. She has overseen our usual money raising efforts and has been relentless in the search of new funding. As a result of her exceptional efforts, we've been able to achieve the transformation that is now the Jewish Death Association. It's hard to imagine a more deserving recipient of the Barnett Lifetime Achievement oh. Civic Award. No, and we're right. delighted and proud that she has now received it. Now listen to it. Just in case. Yeah, from, mute. Mute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Trudy. <laughs> Neil Kaufman is a member of the JDA, the person who we must thank for today. He nominated Sue and has worked hard with everyone speaking today to make this award happen. Neil Kaufman. <laughs> Uh, hello, everybody. First, I'm so happy and so proud of Sue. I nominate her 
not to see myself to the members of the charity. I, I feel good after uh, such high people who testimonies, so testimonies to support me to say about who had hide people. So the eight people who wrote testimonies about, about Sue are. First is Trudy King, King, the chairperson. Chairperson of the JDA. Then Mira Goldberg, who is trustee and member of the JDA. And Murray, MBE. Alan Murray, MBE, one of the members of the JDA. Rabbi David. Easter, thank you. Jennifer. From Edgeware Synagogue. And Miriam Solomon. And Miriam Solomon here. Yeah. Hello, Miriam. She, uh, she is a long serving member of the JDA. She has been a member of the JDA for 68 years. Wow. <laughs> 69, actually. <laughs> Something about Miriam. I'd like to say something about Miriam. Miriam has no computer. Miriam does not have no a computer laptop. or a laptop. No, 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 no. She has no mobile phone. How she died, testimony. So how did she um, write a testimony? She, had to and <laughs> she wrote it herself she had to with beautiful writing. Oh. Here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. By free hand. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Which is fantastic. And Richard, Hassock, and Richard one of the Hassock, one of the trustees. And Michael Freer, Freer the, MP, the, of the MP of Finchley Finchley and Golders Green. They all wrote, they all wrote testimonies Sue. about Sue. And I had to collect them all. And I had to Keep collect them, them all and, and put them in a folder the computer. on the computer. Also, I had to cut down. I also had to make cuttings from magazines and newspapers. I will show you. So this is from the JDA magazine. I scanned them and then put them in a file. This is from Jewish Death newspaper. Jewish newspaper. Jewish newspaper. Jewish newspaper. Um, and this is the magazine, Seen and Heard, Toby. which is Toby. Scan. <laughs> 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 and then here's a cutting from RC Experts. This is from a local Barnet newspaper, the Barnet Times. She had collected, she collected 180,000 pounds for day centre work, for new projects. Day centre. Which is the day centre at JDA. January, this was in January 2017. And this is the donation form. Don't be at So Sue had to organise everything. And she helped to organize and Sue helped to organise a trip to Krakow. To Krakow. We, had to we went to Auschwitz, concentration, and concentration camp Krakow. Poland. in Poland, in Krakow. Scan, do them, filter. I collected all of these images. And <laughs> she, she has been 
Well, Sue has been working at the JDA for over 20 years. Still counting. And still counting. How many years do you think? 21 years. And now I've put them all to And now I've gathered all of these documents and I've sent them off to Barnet Town Hall. I had to write a form and nominate Sue. Yeah, tell them no and write testimonies about, about Sue. Sent them to Town Hall last year. I sent them to Town Hall last year. Ooh, ooh, members. I think All members, members think very Sue. highly of Sue. We, Sue also, Sue think also thinks of us. Of She's well. always looking after our well-being. And she understands what we need and how to overcome problems that arise. We really appreciate the huge amount of work that she does for us. We hope that Sue will be with us for many, many more years. She deserves this award. Thank you, you've been collecting all those papers. <laughs> Thank you, Neil, for your determination, your hard work. Thank you for today. Judith Morgan has worked with the JDA for many years. She runs our very impressive technology room. Judith. <laughs> Shame. Yeah. Oh, they're oh, back. They're what? back again. They're back. They're back. Um, how are yeah. they? Janet, um, Grinson gone down to tell Janine to sort it out. Thank you. Okay. Masterminding it all and guiding the staff. Yeah, we're back. JDA family, as we all call ourselves. The JDA will continue onwards and upwards, I'm sure. All testament to your capabilities and the high esteem we hold you in. Finally, let's not forget your best for life. Sense of fun and love of a party. Sue also does a mean, fancy dressing up style, whether punk rocker, <laughs> Chinese lady, <laughs> or wicked queen. Congratulations, Sue, <laughs> and Muzzletoff, you truly deserve this honour. <laughs> Thank you, Judith, for all that fabulous inside information. <laughs> Mira Goldberg, a trustee of the JDA, and most importantly, the person who calls her mentor, Mira. <laughs> Hello members watching on Zoom. Um, I'm delighted to be here today to see Sue receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award. She truly deserves it. When Sue started at the JDA, the JDA was a very small organisation. And now it's grown so much and nobody is left out. Whether you're a baby, born with a hearing loss, up until you're elderly in a care home, Sue makes sure that everyone is okay. Nobody is left out with the JDA. 
Last year, when lockdown happened, it was a very difficult time for us. Elderly people who lived alone were struggling, but the JDA made sure that everybody was okay under Sue's lead. We made sure that they had food, they had shopping, they went to doctor's appointments and hospital appointments. The members are very lucky to have JDA under Sue's lead. You know the quote that behind every successful man is a good woman supporting, her, supporting him. But actually in Sue's case, she is a successful woman, but behind her there is a very successful, supportive husband. <laughs> <laughs> For the last 20 years, I have seen the support, so I take my hat off to Neil. Thank you so much, and well done, and congratulations. Thank you, I'm very proud of you, Sue. Thank you, Mira. Miriam Solomons, a lifetime member of the JDA a wonderful woman. She has been part of our family, our club, as Neil said, for 69 years. Miriam. Me yeah. come over? Can we take you further down? <laughs> we can. We can. First of all, I did not make any notes. Can you hear me, everybody? Do you want me to raise my voice? Of course, everybody is very proud of you, Sue. You have, such, you have done such wonders for the club since you joined us. You have been with us for 21 years, and I can't believe that you've been with us for 21 years. This week is a double celebration for you, because it's also your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So 21 years ago, we had a fundraising evening. I think it was led by Caroline. And there was a magician and a harmonist. Oh, hypnotist, that's it, hypnotist. And he said, anybody come forward. So Sue is like, I have to do it. <laughs> she was very confident. So she sat down and the man spoke to her. <laughs> she fell asleep. Do you remember? So she fell asleep. Everyone was laughing and laughing and laughing. That, that was a fun time. Do you remember? Yes. You were not there, were you? Yeah, you were. <laughs> So, I gave a book about that in the office. Yeah. Over the years, you have given us wonderful support with your staff too. We can't say how much you've given us. You've worked so hard to raise money for us. And we thank you so much for your hard, hard work over all those years. And keep on going. <laughs> thank you.
experience here. Thank you, Miriam. Not a day goes by that we don't realise how lucky we are to be led by Sue. The star of today, our ever inspiring Chief Executive, Sue City. Thank you, everybody. Um, yes, as, as everybody has said, I started here 21 years ago. I was 38 years old. I was a snip of a girl. I didn't know anything about um, deaf culture, deaf people. I'd never met a deaf person. Uh, but since the day I walked into JDA, I've never stopped learning. I haven't stopped worrying about how we're going to raise enough money, and I haven't slept. Um, <laughs> When I started working here in 1999, um, all the members were young and they organised all their activities themselves. They were independent and uh, so I had to work out what was needed. As they grew older later, they needed more support and uh, the older members used to come and sit at my desk and I'd help, with them. I'd help them with whatever they needed. Um, but I remember the day that everything changed. One member came to me and he had shingles. And he told me that the doctor had told him that if he ate oranges or tangerines after nine o'clock at night, it would cure his shingles. From that day on, no JDA member ever went to the doctor without an interpreter or a support worker beside them so that they could understand what the doctor was really saying to them and ask all the questions they need and have all the information to stay healthy. Now we have four support workers um, and they've looked after so many JDA members in the time that I've been here, um, many of whom were alone with no family. Um, and it's always made me so happy to know that they had us, their JDA family, to care for them. And I've got lovely memories of so many members who are no longer with us. And those of you who have seen my office will know that I have photos of them plastered all over my office wall um, and little trinkets of theirs that make me smile all the time. My job is to see that, pe that what people need and do my best to change with the times. It's gratifying to know that JDA is now a precious source of support for people of all faiths and of all ages um, from new born babies. And as everybody here has said, during the COVID pandemic, we've done incredible work and I'm so proud of everything that our staff have done, keeping so many people safe and well and stable in these scariest of times. Um, from fixing people's hearing aids on their doorsteps, uh, to showing synagogues how to caption Zoom uh, Shabbat services, to teaching nurses how to communicate with a deaf-blind client in the COVID ward, uh, to keeping in touch with all our members who are alone. Our staff have been absolute heroes, and actually this award should be theirs. Um, before we finish today, I'd like to thank Neil Kaufman, for nominating me for this wonderful award and for considering me worthy. Um, and of course, all the lovely people who wrote such amazing things, which is most embarrassing. Um, thank you to Trudy and to our fantastic board of trustees for supporting me always. And um, to each and every one of our incredible staff, being surrounded by genuine good people and part, part of such a fantastic staff team makes me happy every day. And thank you to our members and clients uh, because they've given me a fulfilling career and being part of the JDA community is not only crucial to our clients, you know, it also feeds our souls, the souls of the staff who are lucky enough to work here. And lastly, I would like to thank my husband, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know we are speaking to it, but at long last, Neil is going to be thanked for keeping me strong and for always 
always helping me to be the best that I can be. Now today, let's celebrate being safe and being here. And let's take this moment to celebrate the JDA's 70th anniversary. Long may it continue. <laughs> Thank you. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Toby. Thank, Thank you. Drink and be merry. Let's have a toast. So, can I? Yes. I'll just need to do a couple of you yes. uh, with the balance on your own. Of course. Possible. With pleasure. Then, so, um, camera going off now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Oh, Lovely. Oh, um, Miriam just wants to say thank you to the mayor for joining us. Oh, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. It's, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Are you thank going you. to step into the role of mayor? No. No. So you've been deputy mayor. This is the end towards the end of your term. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And and how's it been this, how's this year as mayor been? Because that's a very interesting, different year to be mayor. Last year, because of the pandemic, yes. Normally.